Normally, I know the answer, right? And although I know the answer to this one, uh, I don't know how to verbalise it in English. This is a question from Dustin the Wind AZ, lives in Arizona. I just heard the short clip with Isabella join the pile up, and here's my question. When there are so many stations transmitting on the same frequency, why don't their signals clash? I think what we should do is, is just reverse back out slightly and just understand the difference between FM and AM in a minute and why he's, in my opinion, why he's hearing the, the squealing. And FM, so if you just key the microphone, AM or FM, you will end up with a, with a sine wave. Now, I'm not very good at sine waves, but we'll, we'll, draw, draw, we'll draw one anyway. And now the difference between AM and AM, FM is that when you speak on FM, it will mod modulate the actual frequency by, let's say, 12 and a half kilohertz, which means a little bit that way and a little bit that way. So this will, that is actually a frequency. But as you talk, <laughs> that's not very good, is it? I'll find a graphic somewhere on the, the internet. Same you're doing all this. Right, so we'll finish off with the blue line. The blue line at the bottom. You can see that as you talk, the actual frequency changes very slightly so absolutely definitely if you get two people talking at the same time in in english your receiver will not be able to lock on to anyone unless one is a lot more powerful okay and we sometimes hear that on the two meter band you've got quite a strong signal you know that someone else has come on the channel because there's a bit of interference, all right? But if someone with the same strength comes on, you'll hear neither. It'll just, just sound all horrible. Whereas in red, we've got the AM signal, and that's actually modulating the carrier. Now, I didn't know this when I was a CB operator, because when you key the microphone, you get your four watts out, and it just sat there as you talked. I didn't realize it was actually going up and down with the amount of modulation my voice has got which is why on your 100 watt set, if you look at the spec, it says the maximum power on AM is 25 watts. Because as you can see on the red graph here, it's got to go up and down, right? From your 25 watts, got to go up. And then as you talk, right? So you get your carrier down here, and then you got the up and down as you chat. Now then, slightly different on CB. But one of the reasons that the aircraft bands are on AM, they've got very high quality pieces of kit. Everybody's locked on the right frequency because it's all calibrated right. And you can hear two voices on AM. But if you've got a pilot talking to the tower saying, oh, we're coming into land, can you give us a repeat on whatever? At the same time, you could have another pilot declaring an emergency who can't hear the other guy just say, emergency, emergency, this is flight, you know, red leader, <laughs> declaring an emergency. And the controller will hear both. So he'll be able to say, uh, you know, stand by, you know, red two, uh, red leader, go ahead, what's your emergency? Where if it was on FM, you definitely wouldn't hear that. So aircraft, very high quality, exactly on the same frequency, and you won't get that squelch. Whereas CB radios, they're all a little bit off frequency, and you'll get a mess. SSB, I don't know how to verbalise this, but you are hearing one side of the AM without the carrier, all right? So you will just hear everything, right? That's why when a pile up on SSB, you can hear, if you haven't heard of Isabella, I'll just play it now. Here we go. Who's the mic? Can I have the young lady or young person with the mic kilo, please, only? Mic kilo, name me mic kilo. Uh, that's Matt's, uh, Matt's daughter. Matt is on the channel next week if we're having an interview because he makes some stuff. So I hope that's answered your question, um, young man. Dust in the wind. Thank you very much for your for your question. Hope that's kind of answered it for you. Do you do any any AM? We did some AM about a year ago on a channel, and I spoke to a couple of guys in the US on ten meter band on AM. It was quite good fun. Also on sixty meters at the weekend, you'll hear some guys on AM as well. I was on AM or oh, a couple of years ago. I had a jolly good Saturday morning actually. That was very good fun. 
I remember on 60 meters, depending on the country, we're only allowed, I think it's 100 watts. So it's not high, high power. All right, all the best. Enjoy your radio, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now.